In the meantime, uh, Governor Basiki has visited 12 rescued kidnapped victims from last Saturday's train station attack in the Guben area of Edo State. During the visit to the police cottage hospital in Jari of Benin City, where they had been taken for test and rehabilitation after the rescue operation, Obaseki assured that the victims, uh, the state government, will leave no stone unturned in securing the release of the two remaining hostages. The elite governor also commended the crack team made up of various security agencies in the state, hunters and members of the Edo State Security Network, noting that their gallantry and tactfulness proved instrumental to the success recorded. Our men, the security forces, have been there for a week now. They are in the forest, and it was there that they intercepted those people because from the intelligence gathered that they are roaming around that area. So yesterday night, the security forces laid an ambush in trying to move the people from one area to the other. They intercepted them. So that is exactly what happened. We were able to release for 12 out of the 14 that were being held hostages unharmed. Um, we think it's something worth celebrating, something we should thank and appreciate our members of our security forces, uh, the sacrifice they put in, the endless nights, the sleepless nights, uh, which they put into this um, effort must be commended. And we thank God that today, which is Remembrance Day, we have something to rejoice about, and something to thank uh, armed, um, armed security services for. Uh, that's how I feel, and um, we will continue to invest in the security system of the state. We'll continue to encourage the collaboration of our forces, security forces, and we will make sure that we continue to invest in the requisite technology and equipment